everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we are not in the kitchen. So, we're here in my garden. And I am a plantita this time and not a cocinera. Okay? So, today, I'll be teaching you how to make a rustic flower pot. Made of coconut husk. okay so this coconut husk I bought this from a farmer friend okay from Katmon so I want to say hi to Carling thank you dong for this one custom made flower pot okay so I'll be showing you how to make a handle for this husk using an aluminum wire this one. Coconut is one of the most useful tree in the world. It is often referred to as the tree of life because all of its parts have many uses. It provides food, fuel, cosmetics, medicine, building materials, household products, and many others. It is the third most dominant crop in the Philippines, next to rice and corn and its potential to help fight poverty cannot be discounted. And being a tropical country, coconut trees have been a common sight in the country's rural areas. Well, in fact, Philippines is one of the biggest producers of coconut in the world, next to Indonesia. Its production plays a very important role in the natural economy of our country, the Philippines. But alongside areas where many coconut trees are mostly communities where there is poverty and a little progress. So this tutorial might help give an idea to our community folks to venture into making these rustic flower pots to help earn a living. One of the byproducts of the fruit is the husk. It is the outer surface of the coconut fruit. It has several uses too. It is the source of coco peat, coco husk chips, coco crush, and coco fiber that is used mainly for creating a potting medium for plants and flowers to grow. The husk has a good capacity to absorb nutrients and keep the moisture inside which help the plant grow healthier. And more importantly, it is environment friendly. So the materials of our rustic flower pot will of course be our coconut husk here which I have a sack full okay so I ordered this custom made see and a wire using our uh, long nose pliers sorry so I cut the wires into 4 inches for the holder. This one. Actually, this wire is recycled. I got this from a friend who had a package. Okay, from abroad. So I asked for the wires and I turned this into a holder. Then I bought another wire for the handle. So we will be putting this wire here and we'll be cutting it accordingly first we'll be making a handle this one okay you cut a wire around four inches like this so this is around four inches cut this with the long nose pliers Okay. So here we're able to cut okay, a number of around 4 inches of this wire. First you are going to twist the end slowly like that. And then 
fold it. See that? On the other end, you're going to twist it also. You fold the tip. Like that. So now, we already have a handle. Okay? This. One, two, and three. So we'll be making plenty of this. Okay, I have plenty of husk here. Now we are going to cut this wire. Okay, we will cut uh, about a foot. a foot long see this gather the three wires and then we twist the edge or the tip together The purpose is to bind this together. Okay, like that. And the other one. Okay. So, here already bind see now we will get our handle so we're going to put it there bind this together with see this one properly This one and then we twist the tip okay to lock. Okay now it's locked. So now we have See, just make sure these are intertwined properly. Okay. Now we are going to put a handle. I was able to make uh, one, two, seven. so uh, ten. Okay, so I was able to make ten handle out of the one half kilo of number fourteen wire. So aside from putting a uh, hole. Here in our shell, we also poked a hole here in the side of the husk. See? We drill a hole. Now, we will insert our wire on the hole. See? And then fold it temporarily. Because we will adjust the height so 
So you fold it temporarily, then you adjust the height. Okay, you adjust. Okay, all the handle must be of the same height. So this one, and then you get your pliers to twist it. See? So now we have our rustic pot. Now we can plant anything here. Our rustic flower pot. Okay, so this is organic from Mother Nature. A coconut husk. And this will stood the test of time because a coconut husk is very sturdy. Okay, it's very hard. More especially that the shell is still inside. Okay, so this will last a long, long time compared to those plastic ones or those clay, which is expensive because it will break easily. And this one, it won't. Even if you're gonna drop it, nothing will happen to it. Okay, so you can save. And at the same time, you can help Mother Nature. So to prevent injury, you have to make sure that the end will be twisted. Okay, this is really sharp. And it will, it might harm you. Okay, so you twist it. It won't harm you anymore. There is no protruding, sharp uh, edge. This is the main reason why I made the rustic flower pots as I have several native orchids here that are thriving abundantly in my tree here in the front yard that didn't bear flowers ever since. So I assume these orchids doesn't like the bark of the tree. So I'm going to transplant them in our newly finished coconut pots. These are the orchids that we have harvested from our tree, okay? So, we will put this in our homemade coconut husk pot. This will serve as a flower pot. These are native plants, so of course, naturally they will thrive in our coconut husk, organic coconut husk so here I put some charcoal the purpose of the charcoal is to prevent thriving of insects okay and we will put some husk this one put some husk Kids, just roll the fruits. and squeeze in some more husk, just like that. So now our orchids is safe. Okay. As simple as that. Put it on there together with some of those that I have already transferred. See? These are our finished product. Our organic flower pot made of coconut husk so our philippine native orchids just like this one 
and some of our pothos that are endemic here in the Philippines will thrive abundantly here. See how easy it is to make these rustic flower pots. I suggest that you also make the same as they are very economical and might help you earn a living. But most of all, it is environment friendly and Mother Nature will thank you for it.